tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you this sitting on the counter and I honestly don't know what I was thinking because I only got like half a butt cheek on there. Hey y'all welcome back to my channel and your name's Marina. My name is Marina too but if you're new here welcome back. Welcome. If you're not welcome back is what I was trying to say. <laughs> we have a lot going on today. I have to take down my Christmas decor. I don't want to do it but I pushed it back as far as I can. I need to take down all of my Christmas decor because Christmas is over but Joey is still in the air. Hallelujah. I got to get it all done though today or I'm not going to get it done. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I need to take down my Christmas decor today. That is on the itinerary. This morning I have just been doing chores. I've been doing one load of laundry all year. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? <laughs> Seriously, four days of doing a load of laundry every day. You guys are the bomb for suggesting that because it works. Um, it helps. I mean, as long as I keep up on my laundry, it works. And I can't not keep up on my laundry if I'm doing a load a day. It works. I've been doing that this morning. I've been doing laundry, been doing dishes, just been doing all the things, all the homemaking things. The kiddos are done with school. Colton's just got a few more problems in math and some vocabulary words to work on. And then he's done for the day. We didn't start. We got a little bit of a late start, but it's okay. We're wrapping it up. Um, it's well, the power went out, so I can't tell you what time it is. I think it's around 4 o'clock, though. So it's a little later in the day than normal. Um, we normally get done earlier than this, but it's okay. As long as it gets done, it gets done. We're good. We're golden. So I'm going to get started on taking all this stuff down. What was that? I'm going to get started on taking all this stuff down. Otherwise, I'll be up till midnight taking down Christmas decor, and I really don't want to do that. Before I take it all down, though, I am going to walk you guys around and just show you newer pieces. Like, I'm going to show you my Christmas decor before I take it down. I'd also like to keep that for next year in case I want to do the same thing. Are you okay, baby? Did it go down the wrong tube? Arms up. I'd like
like to keep it for me too because next year if I decide to do the same thing in the living room or something, I'd like to have it so I can look back on it and kind of go off of what I did the prior year. I've also added some new pieces that you guys have not seen, so I'll show you those as well. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in here right now, show you all the all the Christmas decor. I only decorated the main living areas aside from the kids' bathroom. I hang like a little sign in the kids' bathroom. So I'm going to show you guys the little decor and then we're going to take it down. And I guess I'm just going to bring you guys along for the day. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get the daggone thing done. Look, y'all. It's the perfect day to take down Christmas decor. Not. It couldn't have snowed like this on Christmas. Like, are we serious? <laughs> like, go figure. I choose to take down all my Christmas decor on a day that it snows. Okay, so here's the bins. I'm going to put all the Christmas stuff in. But I want to show you guys an overview of the house before I do. So I have... My couch is a mess right now. But I had my red Santa Claus blanket right there and my gingerbread pillow. And that's about as far as I decorated like couch wise. I just added that pillow. Honestly, I don't like buying these pillows. You guys have told me several times it's much easier to buy pillow case covers. It's just I saw this pillow and I fell in love with it as well as the one over there at my entryway. So I got those. But my tree, oh almost all of these ornaments were new this year because i never really had a lot of christmas decor before this year so most of these ornaments are ross like these are from uh ollie's some of them are these are from ross and then most of them are from hobby lobby when they were doing the 50 percent off deal that is the best time to get christmas decor because honestly their ornaments are cheaper than anybody's that I know but these ornaments <laughs> I don't I, I almost didn't say anything because I don't want you guys to ever feel obligated to send me anything to my P.O. box I've had people question my validity when saying this but take it like I say it because I, I mean what I say and I say what I mean I do not have a P.O. box for you guys to send me stuff I have a P.O. box to better connect with you guys it's really hard for me to connect to you personally within a comment you know what i mean even my regular viewers like gosh i have amherst low i have all the julies i have gene lange i have all the leases <laughs> i have all the joyces um kim uh her username used to be kim visible uh G miss b um barbara all my barbaras all my dorothy's bendy bendy like i know you guys by name but it's really hard for me to get to know you guys on a personal level with just a comment so i thought that the christmas season was the perfect time to get a p.o box because a christmas cards and i showed you guys i have a lot of them to get back to i am get, i think i've sent out 240 so far and i still have over more than that to get back to but i will you may get a christmas card in april but you'll get a christmas card from me but i i just thought that that would be a better way to connect with you guys through letters and i can't get back to every letter um the christmas cards thing is is like a little uh like special I, I really wanted especially this year to get back to every single one so I've made that a thing I'm doing that because I want to do that not because I feel obligated not because I feel pressured I want I want to send you guys a card back you guys have taken the time out to to love me and accept me and be a part of this community I want to take the time to write all those Christmas cards it's not a chore or anything I love every minute of it I never used to get Christmas cards so now I'm loving it but I've had people challenge my statement that I said about how I didn't get a P.O. box to get have things sent to me trust you me when I say I, I don't I don't get very like mm, like I'm still not mm, but like I don't get very set in stone about things but I will say this when it comes to that I say what I mean and I mean what I say I did it to be more personally connected to you guys and I worried about showing these because these were sent to me my P.O. box I never want you to think I'm encouraging you to send me anything honestly I ask that you don't and that doesn't mean I don't love these I love these I'm, I'm getting to that but I'm just saying I'm when I go to show you these and I go to tell you how much I love these and how much I'm grateful for them and thankful for them, please don't think I'm manipulating your emotions to where that you'll send me things. That's never the case. I don't, I don't want anything from you but your friendship. I don't even ask you to subscribe. I don't ask you nothing like that. Like, I, I just genuinely, I'm thankful that you're subscribed, but I just genuinely, I need you. 
<laughs> you guys have gave me a friendship and that's what I want from you. Nothing materialistic, nothing physical. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. You can challenge me all day on that. I say what I mean, I mean what I say. That being said, I absolutely love these. I opened it and I screamed because it, it's only the fact that they're absolutely beautiful. I love them, they're absolutely beautiful. But it, my, you know, my dogs mean the world to me. I love my dogs. They're my fur babies. I, I don't know. They, 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 they have my heart. So, these I will cherish forever. Forever I will cherish these. I also have one of my YouTube friends, Kim. It's back there in the back. But my first Christmas on YouTube, she gave me this one. We did a secret Santa and she gave me this. So we, I have some special ornaments on this tree, but this tree is mostly just decor ornaments. I have a ton of year ornaments from the kids. Shane put his leg ornament up here. But I have a ton of the kids yearly ornaments we get one every year, but I didn't put them out this year. And honestly, I'm feeling really bad about that. So next year, my dining room tree, my pencil tree, I'm gonna put them with all of our personalized ornaments on it. That way I have an area to showcase them. Um, Cause I didn't do that this year. I gave them some to put on their trees in their rooms, but I really want to showcase them. So most of these are from Hobby Lobby. There's one, there's some that they made. I put these on here. They made those these this year. Over here, these stockings are from Hobby Lobby. This garland's from Hobby Lobby and this garland and this tree, this tree's also from Hobby Lobby. It's really cool because I don't have to have an outlet for this garland. It connects into the tree. The tree has a plug-in and it connects to it and it lights both of them up. This Christmas sign, I didn't put up till a couple weeks ago. <laughs> well, no, I put it up the night before Christmas and I, I don't know, I put it up at some point like within the last two weeks. And I'd had it this whole time. I had got it from Ross way back when they first put their Christmas stuff out and I forgot about it. So I just put that up there. I really like it and it fits good in that area. It doesn't cover up my little thing so we can still change the uh, station. And then over here I got this sign that originally was going on my porch. I pulled it from my porch and put it on here because I absolutely love it in here. I think this right here, it just does so much for that area. I love the big pop of red it put there. So I'll definitely be using that next year. Up here, that is one piece of decor I had from years prior. It's just a sweater tree. And then I got this naughty and nice. You can turn it around and it says nice. I got that sign from TJ Maxx. I got this sign from TJ Maxx as well. I love it. I love the little pom-poms. Tis the season to sparkle. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> then this Merry Christmas down here. I believe I got that from TJ Maxx as well. This Christmas lantern. I'm in love with it. It takes batteries too, but I haven't put any batteries in it this season. I just like what it adds to this area. I got it from Ross. And I got this Christmas 2021 ornament picture frame thing from Ross as well. This candle is from Dollar General. It's a, what is it, stolen hoodie. So that's that area. I really love it. On my door here, I got this wreath from Walmart. And I wouldn't recommend it. It isn't the best of quality. It's honestly a pool noodle with fabric on it. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a pool noodle with fabric on it. It makes it really hard to shut the door. And when you do like kind of slam the door because it don't want to shut, it squishes it. So that's my squished wreath. <laughs> and then here is one of the rugs I got from, I believe I got this from Ross. I either got it from Ross or Ollie's and I love it. It's supposed to go outside, but I put it inside because I'm a rebel. Over here, this is one of the pieces of decor I had had from years prior. I got this at Ollie's a few years back. Yeah. Maybe a year or two back. I can't remember. But I got it from Ollie's. This tree. I love it. I put some lights on it. This pillow is from Walmart. It's one of my favorite pieces of decor this year. I love it paired with that black leather pillow back there. Something about this black leather pillow right here. It, I don't know if it's where it... I don't know. Do I feel like a biker? Yes. Do I care? Am I going to leave it there? Absolutely. Then I got this flannel blanket. Shane picked this out at Ross. Um, and then I got this little been right here at Ross as well. This wreath, I'll be changing it out for the seasons and putting back my eucalyptus wreath up there. That one came from Hobby Lobby as well as the one above my pantry. Up here, this came from TJ Maxx and this came from TJ Maxx. I love this subtle pop of red. Red is definitely my most favorite color to use when it comes to Christmas time. 
I need to also work on my floors. Our floor has been floating due to some water issues. So that's not fun, but we can fix it. Ain't nothing but a thing. Here is Shane's first ever village. I'm really sad about taking this down because he really enjoyed it this year. So maybe next year we can even vamp it up and like add some, I don't know, just some stuff. I don't know. It needs, it needs a coffee shop and it needs a outhouse or something. Where do they use the bathroom at? I don't know. We're going to amp this up next year though, but I loved it. He loved it this year and I loved it because he loved it. I've never just been into villages, but the fact that it made my 33 year old husband that happy, like I'm all for it. And then the last thing here in the living room was this big Noel sign. Like I said, that paired with that sign right there, like that flow, I really loved it. It brought me so much happiness. This garland up here with the lights on it was also one of my most favorite parts of my decor. I contemplated way more than once keeping it up, but it just don't go with anything. Right now, it looks like swamp grass but I'm, I'm telling y'all it's pretty in person <laughs> that's what i say that's what i say about my hair when it don't look on camera it's prettier in person my makeup when it don't look good on camera it's prettier in person <laughs> but it really is prettier in person it don't look it don't look like swamp leaves in person i'm telling you i didn't we still have our school out so don't pay no attention to that but i didn't do anything over here for christmas we did do this pencil tree it's from hobby lobby and we did a woodland themed this year Next year it'll be more personalized ornaments. But I really liked it. The kids really enjoyed picking out the different woodland ornaments. And then up here is all I did to the pantry for Christmas. I just put that wreath up there. It went really good with the wall. You know, it kind of, that woodsy thing. Um, my style is, I don't know, warmland. That's like woods and farm. I put woods and farmland together. That's not warm land. Um, it's like warm house. Warm house. <laughs> That's too close to worm house. Um, <laughs> it's, it's something. It's where I put stuff that I like into the theme of farmhouse and woodsy and comfy and cozy and my vibe in my house i don't even I, so i can't even put it down to a genre it's just cozy that's my thing so i also try to have things like bright lighting and are you doing the same thing i'm doing right now <laughs> i try to go with bright lighting like led lights or daylight lights and like my windows open big spaces not everything cluttered because i do like the cozy vibe and if i got too crazy with that the cozy would turn into lazy and we don't want that i didn't do anything to my laundry room just because I even have a different color light bulb in there. That's how depressing that is. And over here, I've added several things. I have a pineapple here. I'm just kidding. I gotta cut that out because it looks like it's getting moldy. Um, I don't know how, I'm, I, I'm not. Listen, 2022 is the year of buying healthy stuff. So I don't know how to take care of it, but I assume that means that I need to cut off the leaves or cut it off and cut it up and put it away this i found this in the clarence aisle at hobby lobby and i am it brings me so much happiness i don't quite know where to put it i know it's not supposed to go here but i got it in the late like late in the season like a week or two ago what two weeks two weeks ago a couple weeks ago and i had to have it because it was 60 percent off 60 percent off so i got it i have these i believe if i'm not mistaken these are from ross and I have these little things. I got this for 66% off. That was 66% off, by the way. But I got this for 66% off. My stove is dirty. We had lunch. I got to clean it off. Got that at Hobby Lobby for 66% off. I believe it was 66. It was 60 something percent off. And then that candle's from Walmart. It smells straight up like big red chewing gum. Over here, I got this from Ross. I believe I got this from Ross or TJ Maxx. And then Shane got me this cup. I need to have him take these lights down. I put these up and zip tied them and, and hot glued them to the top and everything. I did that totally the wrong way. But Shane got me this little cup stack thing of mugs, like mug stack, mug stack holder. I don't know. But I love the penguin. It was so cute and it went with my little Christmas decor. This is also something that I got in my P.O. box once again. Not to say that. Hold on, babies. They won't back in here because they got stuck back there. Um, not to encourage anybody to send me anything. Please. I, ju I just want letters. <laughs> I, like, I, I, even, I even hate to ask you to send me those because you have to pay for the stamp. 
but um, I will try my best if you do send me letters after the Christmas card thing to, to get back to you and at least send you a thank you note or something for thinking of me. But this was also sent to me. And once again, the fact that they, they remembered my peppers, like, um, does something to me. And then over here, I have this little gingerbread, oh snap, on this little uh, mini coffee table looking thing. I am toying with going with the gingerbread thing for my kitchen next year. I don't know if I'll still feel that way next year. We'll see, but I'm excited either way. Oh, and my centerpiece right here, I got this tree from Hobby Lobby, this little mini tree for 50% off. This deer, I, I really liked this for 50% off. And this house I got at Family Dollar. Um, I really liked it. I got it a couple weeks ago too. I had a couple people say that they didn't like the way that I did this. So let me take a minute to encourage you. People are going to have different opinions. That's the best part about having a community, right? If you have a community that all thinks the same, it's a cult. You don't want that. <laughs> so it, the best part about community is the differencing, is the, is the differences in opinion. So when someone comes at you and they say, hey, I don't like that, or hey, you could have done better on that, or hey, that looks ugly, I would hope that a person in our community wouldn't wear things like that. I would hope they would be kind, even in their disagreement or in their, their differing opinion. But if someone does say that to you, that you know personally in real life, or someone randomly on the internet, or some, maybe even a friend of yours, I want you to know that like it's 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 good it's actually really good <laughs> that they have a different opinion because if your community all had one opinion it would be similar to that of a cult <laughs> we don't want that so just like what you like i have people all the time saying oh, your house isn't truly farmhouse no it's not <laughs> it's my house <laughs> it ain't farmhouse it's my house or your house is more rustic or your house uh, is really looking boho like don't I have people all the time try to label me and my home as a certain style. My home is that. My home. And it's what I like. What my family likes. Please do that with your home. Your home is your space. It's one of the few things in this world that you can control. There's so many things that we cannot control going on in the world at all times. It, and it has been like that for hundreds of years. But one thing you can control is the vibe i hate that word the atmosphere in your home and the way that you decorate it so regardless of what anyone thinks if you want the zebra wallpaper baby get the zebra wallpaper get the zebra floor get the zebra rugs get the zebra anything get it if it makes you happy if you love it it's not hurting anybody else they might say it hurts their eyes but <laughs> it ain't hurting nobody else do it there is also a sign and a Christmas tree candle I gotta get out of the kids bathroom but we'll do that here in a minute sticks and stones may break my bones but your words can't hurt me No, you just can't hurt me No, I ain't been right More than I've been wrong And it still can't hurt me No, it just can't hurt me No Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, you just can't hurt me No, you just can't hurt me No, no, no I know it's hard to be polite And it's easy being petty My mama used to tell me Gotta use your wings so I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I have turned down the exposure on my camera and that's because I was editing a video back one day and I noticed that my house looked super flawless because exposure brightens up the area and in return it makes it like look very crisp and clean and and bright it makes it look flawless and my house isn't flawless I have cracks in the floor and cracks in the wall and thing areas that need to be caulked and stuff and I want you to always feel like you're just a friend coming over and hanging out with me while I'm cleaning or do whatever I'm doing doing whatever I'm doing that day so I turned down the exposure so that it would actually look on camera like it looks in my house which is very flawed but very lived in and very loved <laughs> I never want you to see this perception 
on camera that my house is like crisp and and everything is done perfectly and all my DIYs look amazing and there's no cracks and there's no there's no areas that need touched up or anything like that I never want you to look at my home and feel like it's unobtainable because my house is normal it's normal to have areas in your home that need to be a little bit worked on you know you need a little DIY a little tender love and care and stuff that's that's normal that's a normal thing to have in homes let's normalize normal looking homes i never want you to feel like my house is unobtainable i'm just like you my house is just like yours it's constantly needing work and i want to portray that over the camera like over the film i want you guys to see what it actually looks like in here on my path and the lamp under my feet I know my faith strong but my flesh still kind of weak When that victory be looking like the verge of defeat And I feel that disrespect Help me turn my other cheek and say Sticks and stones may break my bone But your words can't hurt me No, you just can't hurt me No, I ain't been right More than I've been wrong And it still can't hurt me No, it just can't hurt me just can't hurt me no you just can't hurt me no 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 i apologize for my pant line <laughs> right now i'm i'm sorry i was up on a wall and i had a great fall and <laughs> somebody told me they got that and they just couldn't put me back together again <laughs> Like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us I won't give up on you I will be holding on for life Hope you believe in us Please don't give up on me At least give me a try Cause you're the best thing, the best thing Bells will be ringing the sad, sad news. Oh, what a Christmas. Without any sad. I have the blues. Please stay home. Y'all are ridiculous. <laughs> They're acting like I've killed their dreams. <laughs> You're a mean one. Miss Marina. <laughs> You're stealing. Oh my joy, where are you Christmas, my wife just stole you, I can't find you right now.
Sabrina destroyed you. Oh, I implore you. Please come out of that box right now. Right now. She looks like Cindy Lou. But she's far from that who. She's more like the Grinch. I'ma go too fast. I don't care about those limits. Cause I want this to last like nothing ever lasts before. I'ma go too Prime example right here of what I was talking about earlier where the wall has settled, there's gaps between the paneling. That's normal. Things like that happen. You wouldn't see that if the exposure was was up higher. So things like that happen when you do DIYs. You have to go back in and fix it. Sometimes, especially if you're in a mobile home, the house settles a lot. That's why you have a lot of floating floors. That's why the walls are uneven. So eventually, like the paneling, if you hang like shiplap or something, it'll drop or it'll crack or it'll tilt. Things like that just because they're built to be tilted temporary now you can make them last if you take care of them but for the most part they're not meant to last a hundred years like a brick and stone house would so that's just things that you got to constantly work on it's okay though it's good to go back and to touch up things and freshen up things anyway so that just stuff like that gives you more incentive too because i know the people get scared Okay, so I have, well, I've been wearing a crop top most of this video. Good thing I wear my britches up to my ladies or we'd be a little bit immodest here. <laughs> um, I have got all the decor down except for the garland and lots and the trees and lots. Um, that's the only thing left I had to pack up. Everything else is packed up and it's super sad and my kids and Shane have made me feel like a major... What you got, Tater? It made me feel like a major Grinch. Um, Grinch. <laughs> but if I left it up to them, it'd be up all year long. Which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if you want to keep it up all year long. Um, but I... Exactly. But if I... I'll miss it. I miss it. I'm not going to lie. I, it, it does look cold in here. Cold and bare. But once I get my decorating to going, um, I'll leave it clean, like a clean slate for a few days. And then I'll get to thinking of what I can do with places and, and change it up a little bit. And I'll be, I'll be fine. But I have to, by the way, I'm drinking water. Who's this? If you ain't drunk water today, go get you a water and drink it with me. We need to drink more water, girl. Hey, tell them about me. Shane. So we have a box of Dr. Pepper over there in the house. Would you know, not one has been taken out of it this whole year. <laughs> Four days. Nobody has drank a soda in this house. Not us, not the kids, nobody. We have been drinking straight up water or water with like the little flavor packets in it or my drink, coffee. Coffee too and then my drink. I'll show you guys my drink here in a little bit after I get dinner going. It's saving me from sweet tea because I'm a sweet tea drinker. It, sweet tea. I, I run off sweet tea. One cup of coffee, several glasses of water every That's what day. we've been doing. And then I've been doing uh, my own version of healthier, I don't know if you can say healthier because it's got stevia in it, sweet tea. And it's not really sweet tea. It don't taste like sweet tea. I just kind of learned it on accident and then I ended up loving it and it saved me from going to get a soda or a sweet tea. I've got to hold off. I'm not going to put the tree up and the garland up yet because i got to make dinner. It's 6.05 and I haven't even thought about dinner. So I'm probably gonna do some quick Purdue chicken strips. We've been loving those for quick dinners here lately. And then I just need to not cook them long as I cooked them last time because last time I kind of charred them a little bit. They were so good. They were croutons. No, we, we ate all the salad. No! We ate all the romaine lettuce in our house. Who are we? Like nothing's going to waste. Almost all the blueberries are gone. Uh, almost the whole container of strawberries are gone. Nothing's going to waste. Like I'm... I'm proud. I may need um, to go do a run for romaine lettuce. I'd like to have some salad. Though. You want some salad? Because that chicken in it was so good. Okay. Well, I was going to do... Then I'll, you can go get salad and I'll, I won't do zucchini. Because I was going to do zucchini. So we'll do salad instead. Cool. So we'll do chicken, uh, mashed taters, and macaroni and cheese and salad. Yes. All the fast things. Not homemade anything. Because i got to get back on it. Tomorrow evening... 
Shane and I are going out to celebrate our anniversary, which was the 30th. Um, we were just, we've both been super busy. There's been no time to celebrate, which I mean, we celebrate every day. Like every day is anniversary to us. Like, I love him. I love him with every fiber of my being. I love him. But I'm excited to go out tomorrow. Nanny, Nanny tomorrow is when Nanny can watch the kiddos. And so the kiddos are going to go have fun at her house. They're happy because I told them, as long as you're there, you can drink juice. You can drink sweet tea. Whatever. And soda! And soda. I'm not going to make them not enjoy things at Nana's. And then that's what I told Shane, like, when we go out to eat tomorrow, we'll have a soda and stuff. The trick I have found to... I mean, take it as you will, weight loss. I'm still, I'm still thicker than the snicker, but I have learned while losing weight, you don't deprive yourself. You don't say, I'm never, until I die, never gonna have another Dr. Pepper. You're gonna say, on special occasions, I'm gonna have me a Dr. Pepper. That's hey, what makes it sustainable. I like you the way you are. Also, as far as weight loss goes, last year I lost 39 pounds. Now, that doesn't sound like a whole lot in a year. You know I'm from Tennessee. Why? Because I know my way around them curves. <laughs> oh my god. Cammy's like, hush. <laughs> Cammy, Cammy, say hush. Say hush. Hush. <laughs> He's just cackling. Man, Shane, I look flush now. Oh, I like these coats, by the way. I got them from Ross. They were like $3.99 for five or six of them. And I love them because I don't like drinking out of things I can't see inside of. It's like a phobia for me. So like I gotta, I can, they're colorful but I can still see what's going on inside. But anyway, 39 pounds in a year don't sound like that much. But I am 39 pounds lighter than I was a year ago. I mean, so that's, that's pretty good in my book. I mean, I could have been 39 pounds heavier. It's all about the mindset. What I've been doing is I've been doing healthy options for breakfast and lunch. So this morning you guys saw me make the kiddos waffles and fruit. I just had fruit. Um, I didn't have waffles. For lunch, the kiddos had pizza. I ate my pizza with a fork and I kind of ate the top of it off. For breakfast and lunch, I usually pick healthier options. For dinner, I've been having what everybody else is having so that I don't have to cook a whole separate meal. For me, I just eat smaller portions. So like tonight, we're having the Purdue chicken tenders, mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes, and salad. I was going to do zucchini, but Shane wants salad. So I'm just going to have smaller portions of that. That's what I'm going to have. So that's what I've been doing and it's been working so far. I don't know. I don't step on a scale because I'm not about to hurt my own feelings. <laughs> I'm thinking quarterly during the year, I'll, I'll step on it and see my progress. Kind of see what I need to switch up and stuff like that. I need to drink water while I'm talking to y'all more often. I drink almost this whole thing. All right, I'm gonna get just some quick dinner going. We're gonna eat and then we're gonna get back on it, yeah. dog on it. What are we gonna do, huh? With this last grocery pickup order, we ordered two of these. We're now starting on the second one. We ate through the first one. Heck yeah! Shane went and got more salad. He also picked up these croutons. So we're gonna have a good dinner. I'm gonna show you how I make my drink in just a second. Hold on. Okay, how I make my drink. I put ice in the cup. I use this Milo's Famous Unsweet Tea. And then I use this real lemon, 100% lemon juice. And I just squirt a whole lot of in there. Makes it taste like, I don't know, more like lemonade than sweet tea, but it's super good. It tastes like kind of like that sour Nestle tea, the gross kind that you like find at Woggles. Uh, that's what it kind of tastes like, but it tastes better. So after I do that, I use this stevia and put just a little bit in there. Okay, let's be honest. I put like that much. It's not a little bit, but it's not a whole lot either. And then I stir it. And it kind of gets a little milky, but don't get worried. Like, it, honestly, it kind of looks like unfiltered water, but it, it tastes really good. And that is what's keeping me from soda right now. All right, guys, so now it's my turn to show you how I make my drink. Over here. 
get you some ice. And then... <laughs> and that's what's keeping me from soda. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> this is what the kids have been drinking, too. The kids have been loving these. It's the Bitsy's, Bitsy's Swish and the Fruit Punch. They've been loving these little... They You put them in water and it's supposed to help with electrolyte and immunity. They've been liking those. Girlfriend, is that good? <laughs> so the kids and Shane are going to tidy up all the dinner mess and everything while I get a load of laundry going. Because I really, I've already done one load today, but I really want to do another one because I literally only have a couple of loads. So I really want to get that tackled so that I have a clean slate. I know the laundry will never end, but just to have one hamper will make me feel so stinking good. So I'm going to toss a load in there and then finish taking me on my Christmas decor. So after taking down all the decorations, I was like, you know what? I'm going to check on the places I didn't clean in my big clean and declutter and organize video because I thought they were already clean. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they really weren't. <laughs> Underneath my furniture, like the furniture I didn't pull out, was horrible horrible inside of my couch was dirty underneath my couch was dirty so while i had all my christmas decor down and while i had brought it back to a clean slate before decorating anymore i wanted to make sure every little nook and cranny was clean underneath the couch in the couch underneath the entryway underneath the dresser that we diy'd all of those areas i wanted them to be clean i'm gonna have to do some work on my living room i told you guys before i gotta do some work on the floors i used the treadmaster i believe it's treadmaster peel and stick vinyl flooring the color is taupe oak i get that question a lot um i i don't it's not that I don't recommend it. It's just, it's very, very fragile. There's so many pieces I have to pull up and redo. I've got to redo all around the perimeter where the baseboards are because when we put down the baseboards, it caused it to split. And then in some areas where I've moved the couch, it's pulled up pieces and broken off really easily. So it's really good. It's really affordable. If you're looking for an affordable way to change up your home, then I would definitely suggest that over, I mean, some of the actual hardwoods, y'all, they can get really expensive they really can a box of this is super cheap at home depot so i mean you know not super super cheap it is flooring but it, it's one of the cheapest options so i have to do that there's areas i need to caulk especially around the baseboard i still need to put baseboard on one side 
of the room. So what I'm going to do with little areas like that is I'm going to, in order to motivate myself to get them done, if I know that I'm motivating you guys, it motivates me. It's the funniest thing. So I'm going to add that into videos and I'll show you guys, you know, and it'll give you motivation to tackle the little things. Sometimes it's not big room makeovers, which I have those coming up too. I actually start on our bedroom tomorrow, but it, it, sometimes it's not always big, massive, a room makeover sometimes you need the motivations to get the little things done like caulk and like replacing pieces of flooring and I need to repaint my door because it's got all scratched up with all the reeves I've put on it all those things sometimes you need a motivation to get that done too I have an entryway here that that entryway right there oh my gosh I DIY'd it and it did not turn out the hottest it looks beautiful I love the dark wood of it but I'm gonna have to change it because I did a like a I don't know I I was about to say hack but it was a hack that I came up with <laughs> it did not work it's, it's it failed <laughs> um but it's like using the antique and stuff to paint it and then let it dry and then seal it it doesn't matter how much you sealed that stuff I can't remember how many coats of poly acrylic I put on that entryway I think it was at least at least three to five coats of poly acrylic and it's still it's still messed up so I'm gonna have to redo that soon and it's something that I don't want to do because I really enjoy the way that it looks but up close you can tell uh, if you go back and look at the beginning of this video when I'm messing look at Shane at the beginning of this video when I'm messing with the stuff or showing you guys the stuff that's on it you can tell how flawed it actually is so that's another reason why I wanted to bring down my exposure to show you guys like hey sometimes DIYs they don't pan out sometimes they look beautiful at first but for long term it's just not feasible it's just not it's it, it's not good so I'll little things like that need to be changed and it's okay we can do them together if you have areas in your home that you neglect because you just feel like it doesn't really matter like caulk and like painting corners and and little trim and areas and and little holes in the wall you can see back there to the right I have a hole in the wall over here um where the couch broke because this couch is from big lots and it, it's it's broken down we broke it down <laughs> um but on the other wall where my lamp is now next to the curtains you can see there's a major hole in the wall so i mean you're talking paneling like drywall drywall we got to replace right there you see it it's bad those are things that i really don't want to replace because i feel like it's little but now looking at this picture right here you can see that it's actually quite big and Fixing that will make the area look so much better just by fixing that little area, that little hole in the wall that I think is nothing. When I look at it in a, in a hole, like when I look at the whole thing, I'm like, man, no, you know, that really does diminish the, the living room that, that brings it down a notch. So I hope that me bringing you videos like that too will help you guys. Like I said, I still got my makeovers coming, still doing full blown room makeovers, but I really do want to motivate you to do the little things because the little things really do add up. Dog, I worked up a sweat on that and now. I don't even think. I just see more trash. Okay, I swept up under behind the couch there. I don't even think I worked up that big of a sweat when I was doing the massive clean and declutter and organize with me. I tackled all the areas that I didn't tackle in that video. So my entire living room is spotless now. Um, let me show you what it looks like. It looks bare and cold, but I'll be decorating it soon. I'm just gonna give it a few days so that I can like kind of gather my thoughts and see in my mind how I really want things. But let's take a look at it. 
It is super bare. Like super bare. I like it though. I mean, I really do. It's very minimal. I feel like, I don't know. It's like the more I took out, even though I loved the Christmas stuff, the more I took out, like the less anxious I felt. I have come to find out in my YouTube journey that I like clear and clean spaces. Um, I don't like heavily decorated spaces. I like bare spaces, honestly. I do miss my garland and my trees. This back here is gonna need some work because there's like nothing on there. The tree is gone, the garland's gone. It's all gone until next year. But I'm excited to see what I can do with it um, and redecorate it. I'm really excited for it. My kitchen's all clean. Look. Kitchen is clean. Just got my iPad there because I got to edit. Let me show you where we put the Christmas stuff real quick. This is the tower for Teresa. <laughs> Look at it. We got all my paint there. We've got my fall bin down there. My big tall signs that couldn't fit right there. Two Christmas bins and a tree bin that we could not fit the lid onto even if we had the lid, but we don't. And the ornaments on top. We're playing dangerous games. <laughs> We're playing real dangerous games. But it all fit in that little corner and it don't look too shabby if I do say so myself. Peep our new bed. <laughs> our new bed came so now we're just waiting on a few things to come before we can start my bedroom makeover. I'm really excited about it. Like I said, it's not going to be like my style necessarily. But Shane and I were talking and I, I really want to make that, you know, it's already his domain. I mean, you can look on that wall and see Shane owns that room. <laughs> But I want to, Banks, what are you doing? I want to make it our area. So while it won't be my style, it won't flow with the rest of my home's aesthetic. Is there even an aesthetic in my home? I don't know, cozy, I don't know. <sighs> even though it won't necessarily fit that, it'll still be cozy in its own way and we're compromising. So we're, have, we're, we're doing it all his way. Everything he wants, um, we're doing it. But I'm going to add some wood touches and some neutral touches to it just to kind of, you know, give it my taste. So it's kind of like if both of our tastes had a baby. So like Shane's gaming, neon, he likes LED lights, he likes just pop culture, everything pop culture. He likes all that stuff. And I like more woodsy, more neutral. See, it's so strange how God put two of us together. And like, if it, if I had it my way, we'd be out living off the grid. Um, I'd be living in my little apron and I'd be picking carrots out of the ground. Do carrots grow in the ground? I probably should know this before I do this, <laughs> which is probably why God was like, Marina, you have all these ideas, but I don't know if you can put it on paper. <laughs> but like that, that'd be me. Like I'm, I'd be living off grid, living my best life. Shane could never live off grid. We've even talked about it before. I'm like, Shane, let's get a tiny house. Let's go get 10 acres of land. Let's like literally have no electricity and, and, and dig a well and stuff. And he's like, Marina, I got video games. <laughs> so he would, he literally cannot <laughs> live off grid. He has to have like electricity and everything like that. So it's funny how I have this set of dreams and Shane has his set of dreams and they're polar opposite of one another but we still make each other's dreams happen you know what I mean it's, it's crazy it's crazy so it's gonna be like a, a gaming his domain kind of room since I really wish I could give him a man cave but I, there's just no room there's no room so we're gonna make our cave his cave it's our cave, but it's going to look like... You guys know what I mean. So I'm waiting on a few things to come until we do that. But I'm super excited about it. Got a load of laundry going. My house is clean. It's bare. All the nooks and crannies are vacuumed out. I haven't mopped. But I mopped the other day. So I guess that counts, right? That counts. We still did the daggone thing. Heck yes, we did. I worked up a sweat on that. And so many things I would have much rather done than done all this tonight. But you know what? We did it. We powered through it and we did it. So... Even if you don't feel like doing it, once you get it done, you'll be super happy with yourself. You'll feel accomplished and you'll feel like, hey, I did it. I, even when I didn't want to, the best feeling in the world is the accomplished feeling that you get after you've done something that needed to be done but that you didn't want to do. That's what we're working for. That feeling at the end, I don't know, is it adrenaline? I don't know. Hmm, I, there's so many words I almost said that I definitely know that that's not what that means. But it's just like Webster's in my mind and he's just giving me all these words and I don't know the definition to them. So I just like spout out 
all these words. Anyway, even though we didn't feel like doing it, we did the daggone thing. I'm going to bed tonight thankful. Thankful that I get to be a homemaker. Thankful for you guys, for this channel, for my family. Even though it's so hard. Oh man, some days feel never ending. Some days are frustrating. Some days there's not as much joy in the homemaking as there was for me today. Some days it doesn't feel worth it, if I'm being honest. Some days it feels like I'm stretched thin. Some days I do all this work and I have nothing to show for it. And I feel down and I feel out and I feel like a failure through it all. Through all those emotions, through all those feelings, I am grateful for the family God has given me. Go to bed. I challenge you to go to bed with that mindset. Through it all. Through the hurt, through the pain, through the tears, through the tough stuff. Through the messiness, the, the messy house. Through the never-ending tasks, the never-ending laundry, the never-ending dishes. Through it all. I challenge you tonight, before you go to bed, say, God, through it all, I'm grateful for the people you have given me to care for. Because if I were alone... My house would be awfully clean. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of the problem. <laughs> but uh, if I were alone, I would imagine my house would be awfully clean. And I'd be awfully sad. And I'd definitely admire the people who have people to care for. So go to bed through it all. Through the tears, the hurt, the tiredness, the exhaustion. Through it all. Say, God, through it all. It's been a rough one, but I'm grateful for the people you've given me to care for. Grateful for you guys, too. You guys push me to succeed in every aspect of my life. I tell God all the time, I'm like, Lord, I wish everybody had people like my people to push them to better themselves, to not be afraid to give criticism in the most kind way, to not be afraid to uh, give constructive, you know, like constructive criticism, to not be afraid to state the obvious because I obviously don't see it all the time. I wish everybody had the people who would tell it like it is in the sweetest voice um, and in the kindest manner. I wish everyone had that. I'm grateful for y'all. I'm grateful for the people God has given me to take care of. I'm grateful for another day to be alive. I'm grateful for another year. I'm grateful for my single wide. I'm grateful for my trailer park. Got some really good neighbors. I'm grateful for, for it all. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, and night. Whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you. Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.